Meridon Ivison has this great idea. So he wants to finally get the most and the best out of our River Valley. It's, the River Valley is the best place to go in the city. I'm down there all the time, but very few other people are. It's not easily accessible. Just can't get down there. So the mayor's plan is this. Build a seawall like in Vancouver or a river walk like in Winnipeg that'll run along the water's edge from Rossdale uh, all along the water, along River Road to the Grote Bridge area. So that's quite a substantial uh, promenade that's going to be right on the water's edge. So today we're going to try something different. We're going to do some live tweeting here. I asked people on Twitter what they thought of us and here's some of the responses. A lot of the responses were, pos were really positive, and this was this from Chris Delaba. She, he, he or she tweets, yes, yes, and yes. From Conrad Norbert, I would view a riverfront promenade as an important investment in our quality of life. Completely agree, Conrad. Nathan Van Neck says, I would love that. Feel like that is the biggest thing this city is missing. Good water access. Now on the other side, some people had some concerns. There's Mike Otto who tweeted, yes to a continuous path that is useful for both fun and transportation. Strong no to concretifying the riverbank. And here's from at Jerky DeVille. Horrible idea. Keep the river valley as is. And from at SnapFix, SnapFX, what a waste of money. Neil Korotash, he tweeted, after three weeks in Paris and London, I wholeheartedly support this. A shame you can't really walk along the water in Yegg. At Surly Semantics says, depends on the cost. Given Yegg CC's, Yegg City Council's record, it would probably be 20 million plus, And I think that's a good estimate. Also depends on the size, location, etc. A pier might be cool, but keep the majority of River Valley as natural beauty. Making end of the world an official lookout would probably be more economical, quicker, and just as beautiful. The end of the world should be made into a park, but it doesn't come close to being on the water, I have to say. Mayor Don Iveson also got back to me. I, I asked people about the seawall, which was how he described it. He says, it's more than a seawall. My motion Im imagines great public spaces, like your New Westminster Park Pier example. So in New Westminster, along the Fraser River, they have these piers where you can walk along for about a mile, and there's restaurants and parks, and there's a beach. It's just Fabulous. So, so, so the mayor, he just doesn't want people to walk along. He wants to have viewpoints and maybe uh, some fun areas for the kids, which is a very good idea. Uh, at Stone1A says, sounds good, but I'm sure the tree huggers will be up in arms. Now, the original vision of the park was supposed to be very wild, but you go downtown, there's, there's nothing but roads, uh, empty lots, there's houses, there's industrial. We're, not, we're talking about a highly developed area of the River Valley Along River Valley Road, when you're on that path, right now you're by a road. Wouldn't it be so much better to be down by the water? If tree huggers don't like that, well. Uh, Ogopogo tweets, it's a good move. Maybe the mayor can use money from his photo radar scam to pay for it. Uh, people like the old jabs on photo radar. Mr. Ed tweets, much better than spending the money on, oh, I don't know, overcoming homelessness or something. So there's a lot of people, whenever there's an idea of spending public money, they, they say, you gotta, why would you waste it on that? You should spend it on the poor. You know, public parks, great places for everyone to go, like Horlack Park, like this would be, they are great for poor people who can't afford a lot of the other stuff. They can go to something like this and have a great time. Right now, they can't enjoy the River Valley if you don't have a bike, if you don't have easy access to it. So I don't buy that. Ochre Pete, Trump will build that wall on time and on budget. Please don't let our bridge builders build it. So that's another thing people like to get on the city about. Photo radar, our bridges. Ryan Tomko tweets, This should have been done 30 years ago. Make it happen. Tie it into the Rossdale revitalization and funicular. People have been pushing for this for 30 years, for 20 years. And yeah, it should have happened a long time ago, and it's about time now. Dan tweets, Beats the useless bike lanes. So we're, we've hit them all now, I think. Photo radar bike lanes. It's, someone's going to mention the arena sure, I'm, uh, soon, I, I'm sure. Tim Cartmel, literally standing under the Eiffel Tower right now. Can't think of a better idea. As soon as we can, as soon as we can build it. So that's it. That, you know, he's inspired by the beauty of the Eiffel Tower. This is, this is our, the river is our great amenity, so let's take advantage of it. Though I don't know why he's tweeting and reading about tweets about Edmonton when he's in Paris. Douglas Pinn, 
As a resident of Vancouver who uses the seawall on a daily basis, I say, get on this, Edmonton. Great idea. Sean Billick tweets, can we get the Henday and all the other construction projects that are taking over done before taking on more? And this is, this is something that I hear from a lot of people, including my wife, like, you know, we have all these big, massive projects, the arena, the, uh, the museum, and David, you support them all. Shouldn't we get these done? And yes, we got to get these done. But we also have to look to the future because we are, we are building up one part of the downtown, but we are neglecting the most important thing, most important amenity that we have, the river. Tracy Sawatsky, love this idea. The trails are getting rather busy during peak times. At Regwall tweets, seems a cool idea. Stanley Park is wonderful, but, could, but it could be an expensive proposition to shore up a safe riverbank. And I heard that a lot from people. People are worried about uh, um, whether this can be done if our river is too wild to tame. And that's a big reason we've stayed a, a, away uh, from the river. Here's one from Robert Lang. Tip. Assess costs, include lease spots to profit, offset investment, and survey voters first. Due to YEG urban sprawl policy, only downtown core benefits. Well, I don't think only the downtown core will, will benefit from this. I mean, people can get on the LRT, even if you don't own a car, get on the LRT. There's going to be the new bridge, pedestrian bridge from the Hotel McDonald right to the river's edge. So all kinds of people are going to be able to use this. Now here's my favorite comment on the Riverwalk seawall idea, and we'll end with this. This is from, is from uh, Sean, fake last name, and he, he tweets, I'm just concerned about the cost of installing a sea. <laughs>